نحمد و نسلی و نسلیم علیہ رسول کریم اما بعد اللہ تعالیٰ ہیز بلسٹ اس ود دا گریٹسٹ ویلتھ آف ایمان میں اللہ تعالیٰ کیپ اس ود دس ایمان ٹھیک اس آن پرفیکٹ ایمان اینڈ ریز اس آن دا ڈی آف قیامت ود پرفیکٹ ایمان ایمان از دا گریٹسٹ گفٹ آف اللہ تعالیٰ بٹ وی ہیو ٹو میک این ایفرٹ ٹو پروٹیکٹ اینڈ سیو گاڈ دس ایمان ادر وائز اللہ فار ود اف دس ایمان از لاسٹ دین دا ٹکٹ ٹو جنت از لاسٹ since there is no entry into jannah without iman and iman in the manner that allah taala wants us to have iman the way that nabi kareem sallallahu alaihi wasallam has taught us what is iman among the things that impact on the iman of a person most or among the things that have a direct impact on his heart and mind is the environment and from all the different environments one of the most impacting environments is that of the school of tertiary institutions etc unlike other environments where a person is passing through he is going there casually in the environment of a school etc he is being directly tutored he is being taught he is being instructed and he is there as a learner he is there as a taker he is there as somebody who's gone there to receive and they are dishing out and he's going to be taking now the question is what are they dishing out now some parents in order to get that child to be a very high achiever and because they have maybe the financial means so that child is enrolled in a very elite school and a private school and many a times these are christian ethos schools even in a school which has no religious ethos there are so many issues but especially in a christian ethos school can we expect that that child is going to be taught how to protect his iman rather what the child will be taught is what will erode his iman and this is no imagination rather this is a reality a very very tragic reality there have been so many incidents of how a child went to a private christian ethos school and lost his iman one grandparent took his grandchildren for umrah and when they came in front of the kaaba sharif so this is a time of dua and the grandparent said to the grandchild that yes the kaaba sharif in front of us make dua and the child raised his hands and started saying allah taala protect us saying jesus christ grant me and then he started making his dua the grandfather got a shock of his life but then it emerged that this child was now picking up all this from school another girl suddenly declared to her parents that she nauzubillah is no more a muslim and when they dug into this she was being given literature by her friends in this christian eto school and she was sitting and studying all this in her room and sometimes inviting her friends as well and they were having some kind of bible studies or whatever else and in time allah forbid she gave up her iman now this is no ordinary situation it's an it's a very very severe matter that in order to just earn some dunya we bartered away the child's deen one parent sent his child to a kindergarten or preschool or double zero whatever they call it and uh, the child was there in that school for one day for one day she went to that school and then the parent decided to take the child out this was a christian ethos school and much later one day 6 months later the parent was traveling with the family and they passed by some place where there was a sign board with the word jesus on it so he just ended up reading that sign board aloud and he read jesus as well so the child who had gone to this christian ethos school for one day when she heard the word jesus she just suddenly said i know who's jesus the father asked who's jesus in surprise he asked her so she said he's the lord now he got a shock of his life then he realized his child had gone to that school for one day this can become the influence that the child she didn't know what she's saying she had no idea what she's just repeating or what she's really meaning she had nothing but she was saying something that was planted she was repeating some words that fell onto her ears that sat in her heart though she understood nothing but she is now repeating it Now this is how detrimental these environments can be 
we need to be very, very conscious about what our children are learning, where they are going, and most importantly, to start off with, where we are sending them. If we send them into the lion's den, then we can only be blamed if they get mauled. And if their iman is torn and tattered, then we as the parents will be first to blame, and the child also, his entire future would be destroyed. Allah forbid, Allah ta'ala protect us and save us. So this is an extremely important aspect to be very vigilant about what our children are learning and also that to protect their iman, we rather have some low quality education in some way which doesn't compromise any laws of deen rather than have a high achieving child, na'uzu billah, without iman. Allah ta'ala protect us and save us.